Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are headed out early again. It's not even, it's 9.33. It's 9.33. Chores are done, but we have some stuff we have to do with the horses today. I'll explain. So I'm just having your second riding lesson today. Her, ride, her western riding. Oh, I'm so excited to like get past this preliminary stuff and like get into lessons so that she can see what she likes. Also, I've had a lot of comments about Sophie teaching Willow to drive. I really want to, like I have a lot of people online that will, that will help us, but it's not the same. Anyways, long story short, I found somebody recently that is local to us, a friend of a friend, so I'm just gonna reach out and ask her if she will teach Sophie how to teach Willow how to drive. So hopefully this is the year. I believe it is. I hope that it is. I think Willow and Honey both learning to drive together. Like obviously not Honey this year, but we have two minis and I think it's just going to be amazing. So, so much crazy. First of all, like I got sparks, got butterflies out there watching her ride. And because I've never been a Western person, like a Western rider, it's so casual. And I've always, most of my life, been like more of an uptight, more like perfectionist person. I'm not like that anymore. I worked hard not to be like that. But so Westerns always seems like so much less like who I am. But I got butterflies watching Sophie do that. And she didn't do anything. She just did some trot, some circles, some stopping, some transitions, some teardrop reverses. She just did like, you know the beginning which I love because it's solidifying all the things she's already ever known before and I can see now how Western Fiona was can you see it like so much so all the things that I understand that she's saying I've learned from Fiona like <laughs> yeah so they just washed him off they just sprayed him down with the hose and now he's rolling so the next he only rides twice a week that horse so anyways i got butterflies i'm excited so then we talked about how like um, so she's swapping like we're still riding on sunday next weekend but um we're gonna ride later because they're doing something okay that's no problem she said she's good okay so then i started talking to her about like sophie needs a new horse but it's hard to buy one when she doesn't know what she's gonna do because western breaks off into like so many different aspects like you can do so many different things sophie Switching thinks she on. wants to do barrels but she's not sure like so pleasure. she has to ex ex yeah she wants to do western pleasure like whose daughter are you i love it though I i'm so anyways this is crazy sam listen to this story this is crazy so I said to her, like, so her horses are all, like, beginner kind of horses. They're all a bit older. They're all, like, so safe. And that's what she needs for her program. So they don't do, like, a lot of shows on them because they're not really show horses. So if Sophie wants to go to shows or if Sophie wants to progress or, like, go further than, like, just learning Western, she basically needs her own horse. So um, we don't want to buy a horse until she knows what she wants to do. She wants to dabble. So maybe, like, in the fall or maybe in the spring, like or neck in in the winter i don't know whenever so that she can figure out what she wants to do so then i asked her like what if we like we have a western horse um what if like do you let people drive in and bring their own horse and she said absolutely i said actually you might know our horse because our horse used to be owned by somebody that everybody in town knows and um, so I was telling her and she said, oh my, cause she knows him as his old name, Sully. And she said, oh my gosh, Sully used to board here and I used him in lessons. She used him in lessons. She said, I love Sully. I love everything about him. He'd be perfect for Sophie. You are absolutely more than welcome to bring Storm here. So we gotta get Storm back, you guys. Gotta get him. I should have videoed it, but we were in the drive through line and the truck in front of us looked like his gas was leaking. There was gas, a big gas smell, and then there was gas, there was something leaking out of the back of his truck. And Sam's like, it can't be gas, because gas doesn't leak out of the back of your truck. So Sam got out of the car, went to the truck. Smelled the gas first. Smelled the smelled gas. And, he told, and then he... Told him that he's got a leak in the back and it smells like gas, so... He gets out of his car and he looks and he had a gas... Uh, he had a gas can it was tipped over and it was tipped over it was, it was leaking. leaking out of the back of his truck so he's leaking all this gas all this time so finally so he's like oh thank you so much we get up to pay for our order sam always buys coffee for him and coffee for gabby and now suddenly sophie's drinking coffee 
Um, guy behind the counter said, oh, just so you know, the guy in front of you paid $5 off of your order because you told him about the, the gas leak. And we were like, wow, that's so nice. Pay it forward. Yeah. All right, this is probably my last chance to ever push her like she's a baby. Oh, oh God. Oh, God, I'm scared. <gasps> Molly, look out. Okay. Wee. Molly, Molly's chasing the reflection, the shadow. Oh, that's nice. I know, it's fun. I sat on this swing last oh night. God, I feel like I'm going to hit this. Where's my baby? Oh, okay. there she is. Where's me? Oh. <gasps> ah. Okay, okay, no! It's only uh, attached my ropes. Ah. So it's gonna make sounds all the time. Ah. No! The tree's too close to me. So I open the door to come out and my dog comes out because I'm training her and I, honest to God, like I keep saying you guys have no idea how incredible this dog is. Like I, She's five months old and I don't have to worry about her. I don't have to worry about her. Like, and the reason I think Ellie is so amazing, get out of the way, is that the other dogs, I have to watch them like a hawk. Like I can't just let them, I can't work and just let them roam because I don't know what they're gonna do. Let Molly roam. Molly and Ellie are the only ones. Molly and Ellie are the only ones that don't run off. And the other ones don't run off, they just get busy doing stuff and then get distracted and then I look up and they're like so far across the property I can't see them so I have to like always be calling them back. But you like it? So what are you hoping to do so far? Out of all like, out of all your knowledge of Western, what are you hoping to do? Western pleasure. Just Western pleasure? Well I want to try barrels too. She wants to but try barrels and see if she likes she's it. She's eating grass, she's going to throw that up. But she likes Western pleasure. Anyways, that's what Storm used to do a long time ago, so I think he'd be like a really good fit for Sophie until we figure out what she wants to do. Right? Because, so how the lady explained it to me. Oh God. Oh, Ellie just jumped on Daisy's head. So how she, <laughs> Daisy. Ellie's jealous. Yeah, Ellie gets really jealous and attacks them off me, but I don't let her do that. But she does get really, hey, no. We're not doing that. I'm allowed to love oh, all the dogs. Dog. How the lady explained it to me is that in Western, like you're not gonna get, uh oh, you're gonna have to let her in or call dad. Daisy's going in. She, she just decided all on her own, she's going in. She's up sitting by the front door. So what she said to me was that like, there's not very many all-rounder Western horses. Like they're either good at one or two things. Like a, a, a horse bred for barrels isn't going to be a horse that maybe is bred for Western pleasure. Like they're all different. So having the ability to figure out what she wants to do and then get a horse is so amazing. So I discussed my thoughts with her about how like if she rode Storm and she could go to shows and stuff, while she's like learning it all, if she thought that that would be appropriate before she buys a horse. And she said that is absolutely the best idea. So anyway, that's where we're at. That's what we're thinking. But Sophie really likes it. I felt like I really liked parts of it. It wasn't, the thing I think that there is gonna be hard is that some things Sophie's gonna have to unlearn to do Western. Like in English, you keep your legs on and you hold on to make them move forward. But in Western, you move your legs and like let them flop around a little and it pushes them forward. Okay. Molly has a different idea. She likes to swing, but she wants to sit on Sophie's lap on. to do it. Hold on, Molly. Hold on, Molly. <laughs> She loves it. She came and jumped on me. I'm all muddy now though. Okay, I thought of how it go I thought of how to explain it better now. Oh, are you chewing the rope? When Ellie and I are outside, she's her job it's is to make, to make sure, sure I'm okay. So she watches me. If I move, she moves. If I'm somewhere else, she's somewhere else. She her job, she thinks her job is to guard me and make sure that I'm safe. That's Daisy's job too. Especially when I go to the bathroom. The door <laughs> hits me in the head. Same with this one. Yeah, I was going to the bathroom. Yeah. The door hit me in the head. Yeah. I was like, who is that? 
Except for that Daisy, when she's outside, she gets distracted and she runs off. No matter where I go, Ellie is close by. I can't always see her, but she's always making sure she can see me. Isn't that amazing? Wow, I love walking into a barn that's all clean and fresh. And there's a head. Two heads. Two heads. All right. On today's agenda, among a million other things, is... Hi, Pen. Here, let me get you a treat. So, oh my gosh, the door is open. Oh, I'm so excited. Basically, we don't want the big horses in the field of grass in spring because neither of these horses, I don't think, are going to be really great with grass, and we don't want any laminitis. It's spring. The grass is the highest in sugar when it's spring. It's been really hot the last couple of days, so we're ready to take them off the grass and just be safe. Should I grab the baby? Which means that we're gonna have to, the time has come, we're gonna have to introduce Chino to the mini. So this whole herd has been together before. Eventually, once we put them out on grass in like a couple of months when it gets, the grass gets big. You wanna see the baby? You have such a big head. I know, I took her collar off last night to give her a bath and I forgot to put it back on. So I have nothing to hold her. Careful, she'll Aww. bite you. I love you, handsome man. It's Gabby's on her way him. down. Yeah, don't kiss Chino. Yeah, don't kiss Chino, he'll bite your face. Um, so we're going to introduce all of them in this small field. We put them, we put the big horses in here and separated them for the morning while we were away at riding lessons because we didn't want anything to happen and we wanted them to like get to know each other again slowly Chino. through the fence. This is our way. This is, I don't know if this is the right way, but this is how we do it. And now we're gonna let them be Chino. together. And we're considering like putting Chino out with the baby because he's she's the only one who doesn't know him. And see how it goes. He's a big soft teddy bear. He does not aggressive, not assertive. He doesn't want to be the boss. Like he's happy with girls. And he doesn't want to be the boss either. Are you getting a gelding? You should get a gelding. Yeah. Because we need another gelding. Penny's like, I'm see you, grass, I'm coming. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we should do. Okay. We should take Penny out there and bring Honey in here. Okay. Cause if, yeah, cause okay. Penny will just start pushing him away. Okay. Wow, I can't believe how nice it looks. He's more interested. Look at Penny's like, get away from my man. Wow, she loves him. Gracie really either loves him or really either I don't know. He's the first horse she's ever been able to be the boss of. He couldn't care less about the baby. He wants boy. Gracie. But you know who he really likes? Who does he really like? Willow. He loves Willow the best. Because she's chill. She's not chill. She's she's cute though. He was the boss. He's so short. He likes short things. How Molly gets water. Aww. She's as big as Chino. Chino. He's like, I like this. I don't like her. Should we bring Willow in? And put Honey back out? What Molly, I, bring honey I don't know. I don't like adding horses to each other, even though it has to happen. This summer, they're all going to be out in the big field together, the two big fields. What if we bring Lazy? To not Lazy. Why don't we just open the door? Aw, she likes him. He likes her too. Let me check this one, he says. Willow's like, I don't really want I you. Gracie! Gracie's like, let me in! See, this is what I don't like. I don't like horses, especially in the heat, having to run. Willow's Gracie! She's like, I'm running. Gracie's mad. We'll put. Aww, that's the cutest. Honey doesn't care. She's just like, I don't care about you. Hey. <laughs> so he's, he's not trying to kick him. It's about time. We're trying to figure out what to do. Honey doesn't care about him. He doesn't care about honey. Willow's just like singing. Oh, did you see that? Willow just went and herded honey away from him. Oh, what a sweet girl. She looks like my girl's best. Aw. I think it's harder to add horses to a um, herd of mares. <laughs> see? One gelding with four mares. He just wants to see them and, and get to know them. <laughs> Chino just took a bite of Gabby's hay. 
<laughs> He's like, thank you, human. <laughs> and she dropped some and Penny got it. All right, we're almost ready. We have water out here for when they, when we lock the gate. He's like, heck yes, give me some girls. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not, uh oh, I'm scared of that. I'm scared of Gracie. I was like, Ooh. Oh, it's Gracie that's the troublemaker. I told you. I told you. We all know. I'm going in. It's okay, Chino, come on. Let's go down, come on. Oh, he's like, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Gracie! So that's why we put hay down there, so that he can go down there and eat. See, she's annoying. Penny's just watching. She's like, oh, you guys are so dumb. All right, well, it's the baby I was wanting to get used to him and she doesn't seem to care. All right, so I got all this stuff kind of organized yesterday, but not put away yet, but I can actually put this away. All right, I'm gonna go and get a drink and a snack now that the horses are kind of settled. And, oh, yuck. and then uh, we're gonna come down and clean that whole field. That's all I can do today. Like if that's all I get done today, then that's all I get done. I just want no poop in that mare field. Also, I've been working on this in the mornings, collecting more rocks, but you can see I have like a big, and let me show you from up here. I have like an area in the middle that's all cleared out. This is my favorite thing about farm life. I believe every farm should have a swing and a tractor. So Sam's over there dragging that field, just like dragging all the poop and stuff, getting it ready so it can like really start to grow supposed to rain tomorrow and the girls and I are getting this field all cleaned up and man is it ever a lot of work and our the Sam's poop guy is coming oh thank you Chino he's raking it up for me thank you <laughs> are you gonna roll well what's happening Sam's poop guy is coming he's supposed to come this week he stopped by last night to tell us he's gonna come this week and get all of our poop So I raked it all into piles and then the girl scooped it. Sophie can do it. There's another pile back here you guys forgot. All Remember? Right. Get some buckets. Do you know what we did? I'm not, I'm not we helping. We got a that. bucket of water. Yeah, just get a bucket of water. Just throw it on them, Sophia. No, set it out in the sun for a little bit and it heats up. That's what we did yesterday. And then no, you sponge. No, you would want cold water. water on you. What? It's hot water. No. You don't. You do. Cold water when you're hot is cold. It's Warm good. water when you're hot, once it's off you, you feel cooled down because the wind blows on you. No, cold water. Trust you're me, I'm a, running. I'm a, I know this stuff. Here we go. As much of a brat as Gracie can be, she's just being a horse. I wanna make sure you guys know that I know that. And she's also trying to protect her baby who she thinks is her baby. And I'm so like thankful and grateful for her that she took honey under her under her wing when we got her and that she's really good to her.